give the audience just a little bit of a backstory about what has been happening with you because there's a lot um, that many, many people won't actually know about you. You know what I mean? Yes. Um, I'm a recovered cocaine and alcoholic addict and alcoholic and uh, was using drugs and all the things for uh, 17 years. I was uh, doing all kinds of crimes and uh, did everything to get my drugs. And I was a ghost with no hope to be found. Um, but uh, I got the opportunity to go into recovery and uh, got clean and sober. But I had to realize some things and it ended up in some relapses before I finally decided to go in an, on another path. And uh, the music uh, been the, the, the light in my darkness. So by that um, decision, I got the chance to um, change my life for good and uh, I recovered and um, the 2nd of May 2014 uh, I, I had my first clean day and uh, in a few months I will get my two years of sobriety so that is just fantastic. Congratulations. Congratulations Thank on you so that much. one. Do you feel like music has really been your way through? Has it been a focus for you? Music always been kind of my, my um, light in the dark, and uh, I always was playing music. Um, of course, when I was using drugs, it was not that um, I, I didn't use music that much. But after I got the time and I recovered, I, I have so many stories from the dark side. So I decided to try write down all the episodes and, and yeah. all the things I've been kind of witnessing. Um, to tell people, and also to share with people that there, are, there is a solution. I know. It's now too late. You know, it's interesting to hear you, you talk. I mean, we've talked about this a little bit before, never really in, in depth of it, but I'm, uh, I'm, very, I'm no stranger to addiction and having addiction in my family and, and, uh, and helping them cope with it. And it must be just a very, very hard thing because um, to go through. To, to refocus and be able to change and also keep away the, the things in life that, that make you not productive and make you, you know, and actually will make you sick long term, right? It must be very, very difficult. Exactly. You know, the thing is, when I recovered, I was kind of without hope. And mm -hmm. it's kind of like being a little child where you have to, like, cr learn to crawl and then learn to walk and yeah. then you can run. Yeah. And uh, I was given the opportunity by my kind of sponsor and a friend who was guiding me to go on a new path. And that is what I'm doing now. Uh, I'm reaching out to those people who want to change their life and who want to find the solution by living a clean and sober life. Uh, so I'm doing speaks uh, on schools, I'm playing my music, um, everything that can help people to get inspired to change the, the life and go away from the gate of hell and into the gate of paradise. Yeah, and you really are. You really are. I'm so proud of you. I mean, even while we were getting ready for the live streaming event, you were learning new technology over a very short period of time. You were changing your website. I was I was hitting you with so many things. Can you do this? Can you do that? Like you're a web developer or something. <laughs> and you really did stick with it, and you've done so many things. I mean, um, you know, guys... For those of you who are tuning in to this, either on the live feed or, or catching it on the replay, go and visit his social media pages and visit his website because he has made so many incredible changes. And as a music artist, you're like branded now. You know, you not only have fantastic music and something really unusual and unique to say, but you actually have all the visuals to go, go with it. And I remember in the very beginning when you started, I remember you hit me with these great pictures, and I was like, oh my gosh, I love the pictures. They were phenomenal. Did you have a photographer do those in the beginning? Yeah, I have, a, you know, I have some great friends who has uh, been doing the, the colors and uh, who has been doing the pictures. 
So I asked them to uh, support me, uh, and uh, they were willing to it. Actually, that's just, uh, a young man, a young woman who have a great site called The Pop, where they are kind of doing uh, upcoming videos uh, for musicians around the world. Yeah. Um, really great people, and yeah. So it's kind of paying it forward, helping each other, and yeah. That's amazing. So. It's really, really amazing. And uh, it certainly is. And, you know, let me tell you something. You might not feel right now that you're helping a lot of people with your message because, you know, you may or may not get the response on social media um, depending on, on who's hearing your story or how much they're willing to comment. But the thing is, is that I can guarantee that you are. I know that you're affecting people in a wonderful way, and I love trying to get your message out there, and I'm glad that we, we talked about it here today, because I know that even five minutes of talking about this makes somebody feel better. And I've noticed from what I do, even if I get on and I just like start a Periscope for five minutes and talk about feelings and what's happening and, and real life stuff, it really does. I get so many messages in from it. So you can imagine how many people you're even affecting here today through this, by just by talking about it. And the wonderful thing is that you have put these messages into your music and your songs. It must be, is it difficult for you to write about real life experiences like this or is that actually easy? Is it hard to put it out there? No, the thing is, actually, I want, when I'm writing songs and when I'm doing this, it's kind of, I don't know how to write a story without having the experience, you know? Yeah. So it's kind of everything I've been going through is what I'm going to talk about because I can't talk about politics if I'm not a listen, you know? I have yeah. to get all the things under my skin before I can go out and talk about it. Yeah. Otherwise, it would be kind of a lie or yeah. Totally agree with you. I always write. I can't. I couldn't do anything I do if I didn't actually feel it, because the words just wouldn't come there. You know what I mean? So whatever you do in life, it's it just makes all the difference in the world if you're you're moving from your passion and you're moving from real life stories. That's what that's what people want to know anyway. That's the most authentic place. So let me hear your song. You want to play? I want you to play the song for us. This is. Um, Line the song up for us as you go into it. Tell us a little story about how it was written, when it was written, you know, and what's it about. Okay. Um, I Don't Want to Go Back to Hell was written uh, about a year ago, I think. Um, I was, there's a lot of musicians I'm kind of getting inspired of, and this song was getting in um, because I was waking up and uh, was kind of, doing a riff and suddenly it kind of hit me and I was going like working on it and um, a great friend of mine and an old teacher actually made a cover of this version but um, I changed it in my own way because I wanted to be much more rough and this song is going to be on the next e EP so um, and yeah this is an acoustic because uh, the, the version of the the final recording is much more rock and uh, yeah. So I don't want to go back to hell. It's actually just because I don't want to go back to hell. I don't want to use again. I want to live this beautiful life and uh, where I have my friends and I'm just feeling grateful. So yeah. So should I try it? Yeah, definitely, definitely. All right. Let's see. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm a ghost from the past. Oh my God, I've been a mess. I've been using you all my life. Even if I told you crazy, crazy lies. did you write that song? Mm, it's about a year, I think. Yeah. So, yeah. And now it's just making and, it onto a new, a new EP for you now, right? Exactly. We actually have been uh, doing the two first songs um, over the last year. And um, we'll put some more songs on the EP. Fantastic. So, yeah, and this EP will be a bit more, a bit more rock uh, instead of the debut EP where it was kind of pop rock. Now it's much more rough. Yeah. Now, Dopamine yeah. Seeker was the one that we last did, and uh, we did it on Behind the Music. So if everyone that's listening wants to hear the interview from Behind the Music, you can go to avaliveradio.com and listen to the Dopamine Seeker one. Where did that lie for you? When did that one come out? And uh, how does that relate to this, this EP? Is this, is this like a journey for you, like from one to the next? And, and what's different from the, the first production that you've done up to now in this new production that's coming out? Mm, as a, you know, Dopamine and Seagull was kind of what I was searching for when I was using, using cocaine and, and other things. And... and um, yeah, dopamine seeks. It was also the, the kind of what I'm searching for now, but in a healthy way, you know. Yeah. Um, I can get dopamines from all around when I'm with friends, when I'm playing music and other things. In the old days, I was using uh, cocaine because I got the dopamines, but I don't yeah. need the drugs now. I can do all the things that is health and still get all the dopamines in my mind. So, and, and, and it's kind of, you know, I was using when I was four years old, Got my first cigarette when I was four, and got my first bottle of alcohol when I was seven, and uh, yeah. you know all kind of drugs after that, and and so it's kind of a journey. I've always been in a kind of a living hell. I've been insane, and I've been using all kind of things, and uh, in a hopeless position. So it's kind of moving from the past and going to the future, but still remember that the only moment I can be in right now is here. Yeah. As we talked about in the last interview, you know. Tell so it's me. It's all about being in the. Oh, sorry. It's all about being in the now. 
Is that what yeah. you're going to say? Exactly. Tell me, is uh, you know, when you, when I listen to you talk, I'm thinking to myself, how did you make that initial that initial road change, path change? What happened? Did you, did you, you know, they they say you have to hit rock bottom, but did that happen to you? What happened to make you you change, be able to have the strength to change? And I'm sure. I am I'm positive that it was not easy because I've been through this with with quite a few people and I know that the thing that happens is you want to change but it doesn't always happen right away it's a transition and it can happen over years where you're you know you're still going back and forth and uh, but what was it that initially made you try to change and actually happen for actually, you? Yeah um, actually the reason why I ended up uh, realizing I couldn't use anymore was mm -hmm. two things. The drugs didn't work anymore. There was nothing, mm -hmm. uh, drug, the, the, the drugs didn't have the effect on me. Yeah. And the second thing is kind of, I don't have a bottom. So uh, the bottom would be in the curve where I was lying as a dead person. Mm -hmm. And um, one of my last runs wow. was kind of, I decided to, to kill myself by taking a lot of drugs. Um, and uh, I did die, uh, thank God for that, but, but mm. the thing was, I was uh, so insane, I was kicked off, kick, kicked off of the re rehab, the uh, day, day, day treatment I was in, and um, I was kind of in a hopeless position, so actually I was uh, taking, re taking a good goodbye with my family. My mama was crying, and we were sitting in the car, I decided that, uh, to tell her that I would be gone. I went back to Copenhagen, bought some dope, uh, went to my apartment and blew my mind out and uh, fall, on, yeah, fall on the ground. I don't know how long a time I was away, but I woke up and was realizing that I still had some dope uh, lying on the table. So instead of throwing that out as a normal person would do, mm -hmm. I decided to buy some more. And, um, wow. you know, yeah, I can yeah, so, so it was kind of, you know, there was no way back. So instead mm -hmm. of... I read up to a good friend of mine, and um, I found a solution. I'm in a, I'm a, I'm in a 12, uh, 12 step program, and um, where I, I realized how fucked up I am as a, a person yeah. in all ways. Uh, but I got a solution now. I can choose. So even when my life is going up and go, it's going down now, I still have a choice. So yeah. before that, I could only choose to go to left, but now I also can go to the right. Sure, yeah. And uh, I believe in me, so it's kind of, I believe in God, not in a, the Bible way or anything, but I believe that I have a God who is showing me the way that I should go on. And as long as I'm willing to do what he's kind of having planned with my, my life, and yeah, I'm kind of in a safe position. So, yeah. You sure are. And as long as I'm, as long as putting my ego beside and helping people, to accomplish what they want. It's kind of, yeah. So it's all about good vibes and sharing the message of faith, hope, and courage to those addicts and alcoholics who have a wish but don't know how to do it. Um, yeah. yeah, that is, that is. It's, it's something that you, you have in your possession and you can relate to better than anyone can. From just hearing your story, you know, um, my gosh, could you ever help a lot of people? You really could. Thank you. And through your Thank music, you, so you especially can. And I'm so proud of you. I really am. I'm so proud to have you part of AVA Live Radio's music community because, you know, it's it's people like you that make us so strong, you know, and and make us this loving, encouraging, nurturing environment that we are for indie artists. And, you know, I'm, I'm happy you're here. I'm really happy that you're a part of this. And I'm so glad that you kicked off our live streaming for 2016. This is so cool. Yeah, it's so awesome. It's <laughs> I so love being awesome. able to do it on here. This is great. You guys are spoiling me now because I can see you. I'm, usually I'm looking at videos. I'm looking at pictures. And, you know, we only have maybe a, a, a short Skype conversation available or something. But we've really never done it at this level. And this is just really makes a huge difference, doesn't it? It's awesome. Yeah, and I'm sure it it's does for our audience too. And and as they get to see the uh, the replays and stuff, they're gonna absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Exactly. So now, so what are we gonna see? Have, What's that? What? Uh, I just saw that was a guy who wrote that. Uh, you're so cool. So thank you, Frank. I have to say thank you to him because he wrote that. 
Yes, from Denmark. I see that. That's so from cool. Denmark, yeah, yeah. I love it. And also the, oh, yeah. the Jumo, thank you for tuning in. A Hennessy band's here to support you. I love that. It's, it's it's, you know, and of course we have our AVA Live Radio audience that I absolutely adore you guys. I know you're out there in AVA Live Radio land right now <laughs> listening to us and participating and you're probably absolutely lost. They're like, what's going on? I think I got some messages that things were like, uh, I can't see you on the website, so we're going to have to figure that part out. But at least we'll be able to, to convert it to video eventually and get it up there so everybody can see and, and listen to the stream. I love you being part of it. Thank you so much for being here. So before you go, I just want to see what what is ahead. What are we going to see from you next? We're going to see more songs coming off of this. And do we tune into your website consistently? Is that where we want the subscribers to be? They should tune into um, my website, of course. And um, actually, I have. I'm so proud that the 17th of March, I'm going to be playing a hard rock cafe in Denmark for the first time. Awesome! And, uh, Love it. Yeah, it's so awesome, and um, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. It's a, it's a privilege. I, I had a talk with some friends a few months ago while I was getting acting at Hard Rock, and I told them, someday I will stand on that, and, you know, now I'm going to do it. So it's nothing is impossible. Work for it and, and, and believe in it. It's kind of, yeah. yeah. And give a thought about what people is telling you, because it I is. saw your scoop, your scoop earlier about the... Uh, the, the, the people who have pain in their ass about how people is kind of moving forward and all things. And that's just like, in Denmark we have something called the Law of Yander. And it's a kind of an old bag story where the, this law is kind of breaking people down uh, in the mental position. It's from an old story and it's kind of stop the Law of Yander and just do whatever you want to do. Believe in yourself and be following your dream. Yeah, you're absolutely and the right. I love it, I love it. Yeah, I was just, you know, it's funny. When I was uh, listening to you talk, I was just thinking this morning, I was preparing some of the upcoming periscopes and that we're going to convert to YouTube eventually. And I was uh, getting ready to send you guys a newsletter. And <laughs> the newsletter is all about consistency. <laughs> and I was just thinking, you know, it's so, uh, it's so perfect that you should say that because it's true. Everybody, they, they, when they get started, they're like, um, how do I do this? You well, know what I mean? Seconds. How do I do this? I don't know if I'm going to be able to see it through and I, I'm not getting the right followers. Or I'm not getting subscribers. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. But it's consistency. It really is. It's knowledge and consistency because you have to be, you know, good at your craft, of course, and, and really develop it. But then aside from that, whatever you're, you're setting out to do, consistency just really takes you, I would say, 90% of the way. You just got to stick with it and you'll find your audience. Isn't that true? Exactly. Exactly, awesome. yeah. Awesome. Just awesome. believe in what you do and then everything will come to you. Yeah. Time is your best friend. <laughs> it is. Well, big hugs to you. I'm so glad that you're here and I cannot wait to see you release all of these fabulous new songs on your EP. Music videos I hope to follow, more photo shoots and, you know, Oh my gosh, I see you I see you every day on social media, so I'm not gonna miss you. I'm gonna get to see you all the time. <laughs> but thank you so much for letting me be a part of the AVA Live Radio and the stream and uh, thank you to American Pride Magazine also for the yeah, uh, support and um, to people who is under this uh, block now go to Mr. the Shadow of Periscope now because uh, I will play a live concert in the studio. Because now people have been sitting and listening without yeah. could hear anything of what we've been talking about. Oh, that's so right. I can't that see them. To, You've got an audience behind music. you. So who's, be who's there behind you guys? You know, oh yeah. That's a... Oh, Will yeah. it work? That's some people. Hi. <laughs> That's terrific. I love it. That's great. What a great idea. I'm glad you did that because because now they can exactly. enjoy a concert. Exactly. And people who's on this block just go to uh, periscope.tv uh, slash Mr. The Shadow. There you go. And then I will play a concert. I'm, I'm going to tune in right now. <laughs> I'm going to tune in. I'm actually going to go tune in and try and find a way to periscope it. <laughs> <laughs> 